on the 20 seven years on the bjp ruled states Sanjay and certain opposition states did not allow Sa Sanjay, for please, competitive bid. Sanjay, please Go understand ahead. this please on the 27th of august 2012 the prime minister tells the people of india and all members of parliament i take responsibility yeah. now what's the date today 17th october one year and two months later the prime minister is not saying a single word while the whistleblower in the particular case is an fi registered against him and the cbi does not seem to believe there is any line that goes beyond the secretary you, you want the I, prime minister to you want the prime your, minister to make a public statement on a cbi investigation well, I, and then I you know. will tell me one minute w then you are the people to be denied that, that as a congress party yes. and government we should yes. not interfere aryaman sundaram aryaman sundaram is it so difficult the prime minister is yes. upholding the integrity Arya, of our Ar 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 aryaman sundaram yes i'm finding this arnab can i come in here go ahead i i find this absolutely i don't know whether to say amusing or shocking we are really talking about and hearing somebody say, why should the Prime Minister say anything? On, I said me. on the one minute of the CBI. You, Let him complete. Ayushman, you need there to hear the full context. going on. There is something which is absolutely <laughs> uh, boggling to the entire mind going on. We've had one issue after another. I have a Prime Minister, I want my Prime Ministers to stand up and tell me this is what is happening. If it was a policy decision and it was a policy decision which some of us may feel wrong, well, if the Prime Minister can tell us, well, this was the policy. This is exactly what I'm saying. It it's all come down to a lack of credibility. And when somebody doesn't speak and uh -huh. say why or how something happened, we suspect and we suspect the bona fides, we suspect corruption, and that is what I'm saying. It is a case of a complete lack of credibility, and by this silence and lack of transparency, that lack of credibility is being strengthened. Gentlemen, and this is the mistake. No, oh, wait, I have, let's go to our next question. No, one minute. I have, I have one more question here. Ayushman, I was saying. Aryaman, that the Aryaman, Prime not Ayushman. Uh, Aryaman. Uh, Arya, uh, Mr. Aryaman, I just want to clarify here that the Prime Minister ought not to make a statement. I think he's doing the correct thing. Why should he make a comment? And what the CBI's affair so, is all uh, about. Uh, uh, it is what? meant to be an independent it is investigation. Not on what the, the CBI is. It's on the whole issue. And by the way, well, well, let them let them respond the to this. Yes. It is not on today's FIR. One sec. Uh, uh, Prakash Javrekar, here the Prime Minister should not make a comment. I want your response to that. Prime Minister should not and will not make a comment. Therefore, not, by, uh, not, no, you, not you will. Not on the CBI, not on the CBI I, FIR. Why Prakash Javrekar. Before one He's minute. got nothing to Prakash do with He's before, responding. Before coming to your. Before coming to your channel, I was listening to Barack Obama. He was making a statement on the pending legislation and many other things which are currently uh, important topics in America. So all over, the all over the world, the president and prime ministers take nation into confidence and tell the position, government position as well as what they want to go, uh, how they want to go ahead. And that is what people expect. But this is how we are experiencing that there is no word. And he has to say whether he has made, uh, whether as per claim by Birla Haji, whether he has made Birla, whether he has recommended and whether he, as per Parag's statement, whether he has made the final okay to the proposal or not. At least this, on this case. No, you see, but I have a... more than that, the yeah. Supreme Court's, one minute, the Supreme Court's observations are more serious. They said there is no reason mentioned as to why one is selected and why others are rejected. There is no due diligence. There is no comparative appraisal. There is no verification of claims. All this is, he was the call minister. Why he should not tell the nation why, why this happened? No, yes, yes, yes why, 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 here's the point. You see, I have, I have with me in my hand right now the original CBI FIR. Now let's, I just take a you know, small look at this whole one page, ladies and gentlemen, almost one whole page where there is a full description of the meeting between Kumara Mangalam Birla and Parikh. This is the whole part which I have marked out out here. I went through this whole uh, FIR and uh, neither in the first part about the preliminary inquiry report or anywhere in the case of Hindalko is there a single reference to the Prime Minister of India or to the fact that the Prime Minister either cleared it or recommended it. Now, <coughs> therefore, we look at this point. There are three phases in which this contract is given out. There is one phase where a recommendation is made or that, you know, Prima Fessi, obviously the Prime Minister saw some merit in it, which is why he spoke to, uh, which is why he spoke to Mr. Parekh. Second stage is where Mr. Parekh came in, met and also felt, okay, the case was worth looking at. Third was the case of the clearance. 
In this case, only stage number two is dealt with. Stage number one and stage number two, for a mysterious reason, ladies and gentlemen, is completely missing. Completely missing from the CBI FIR. So the fundamental point is, what is the nature of the governance or the accountability put? Now, my question is this. Before I take a break, I have one more question. In the and I know you don't like these references to the 2G scam. No, no, it's okay. Feel free. But in the case of the 2G scam, the Prime Minister's defense was coalition compulsions. I was misled by Mr. Raja. Is that correct or not correct? Is that correct or not correct? Mm -hmm. Is it correct? Yeah. It was so, not a defense. It was a fact. Yeah, I mean, it was a just, fact. So he just reiterated so, what was the yeah, truth. Yeah. Simple question everyone's asking. Yeah. Who misled him in this case? Sorry? Who misled him in this case? No one. So then he takes responsibility. He has. He has said it on the floor of parliament. No, so investigation what, what, is on. Why, why is his the name not in the FIR? Is on. No, why is his name not in the FIR? As he no, was the coal minister, I get a the prime minister has taken full responsibility the, on the floor no, of that, the house. You, you read out his quote you, himself. What you've just said but breaks the line of one deniability. Minute, one minute. Here. The truth is that the that prime is minister right. is not interfering with any investigation. Ah, wait, I think he's upholding the integrity of all institutions. No, no, it's not. I think you need to applaud and appreciate him for that. Now to demand him to speak on every subject. I asked. I, I think it's been basically I asked, unfair. I asked the simple question here. How can he defend a decision that was taken by the coal ministry where he was a minister? Can he? Can the prime minister be misled by himself? Can the prime minister be misled by the coal minister who is also himself? Hey, can one you. individual be misled by himself? Yeah, let Cannot me, let be the me also case tell you. Let me also tell you. There's a big difference right. between Mr. Raja's case and any other case. You're again making a wrong comparison. I'm one was a, the, one minute. Yeah, in the coal, on. the issues are whether there were procedural violations, I, whether there's a lack of documentary evidence. Sir, I am asking It is you. not about a quid pro quo. Even in the FIR, there's no mention of a no, cash no, once, quid pro quo. One, one, one minute. Well, and it is about whether parties influenced it and whether corporates managed two to get minutes, allocation two minutes for on misrepresentation two of Two minutes facts. for break number one. There's on no the, personal two, allegations. Two of minutes for break number one on the news hour tonight. Two reactions coming in. First, Yareman Sundaram. Yes, Mr. Sundaram. And then Naresh Gujral. I, I'm just a bit confused. If the FIR does not refer to any quid pro quo at all, where is there any element of criminality? Where is the issue so of an FIR at yeah. all? Where it's about misrepresentation of facts. No it's about influencing sorry, the office FIR and therefore taking advantage. That there That's clear that there. No, who influenced? If the Prime Minister did... The, uh, there are three questions which need to be answered tonight. One, did the Prime Minister meet Kumara Mangalam Birla? Two, actually there are more. Two, did the Prime Minister meet Kumara Mangalam Birla in the context of Hindalco Industries, which is a company of the Aditya Birla Group? Three, was there any contact at all between uh, the Prime Minister and uh, the, the Honourable Ex-Coal Secretary, Mr. Parekh, in the case of Hindalco at all or not? Yeah. Four, did, the, did Mr. Parekh concur with the views of the Prime Minister on the matter, were both on the same page or not? Five, is the final decision, the approving authority, that of the Prime Minister as well? Therefore, is it proven that in stage one, two, three, four and five, the Prime Minister is present in a, you know, in, in some form or the other, in a substantial or, uh, you know, minimal form and therefore should there be any responsibility of the Prime Minister? Sixth and seventh questions are political. The sixth question is that in the, if the, did the Prime Minister take responsibility in Parliament or not, should he follow up on that? And the seventh question is, if the Prime Minister said he was misled in the case of the 2G scam, who misled him here? So, you know, in all of this, all of this, I think we are on thin ice. Naresh Gujral is responding. Naresh Gujral. Arnab, in this case, there is a beneficiary and there are the benefactors. Now, CBI has filed a case against the beneficiary and one of the benefactors, the, that is the secretary. The second benefactor has been spared. So I think the onus lies on the CBI director to explain that what transpired or what came up through their preliminary uh, investigations right. that they thought it fit to spare one of the benefactors but only attack the second benefactor. Oh, point taken. Yeah, uh, no, yes, uh, Mr. Alag. Yeah, you know the last point. I don't think personally anybody is really guilty if the Prime Minister had come out and said we, what Ariyama was saying, we followed a process, everything is right. Mr. Kumara Bangla Birla has the world's largest aluminium company. There's no middleman who's trying to get the coal allocation to sell it to someone else. They are, we are committing suicide and harakiri day by day in front of the world. Yes. We are ensuring that nobody will invest in India. Nobody is bothered about the image of the industrialist. Who will answer about Mr. Birla's image? You've just done it. You've just thrown anything in the air and you're going to carry on. Oh, I'm so sorry I made a mistake at the end of it. Actually, personally, if only the Prime Minister had spoken out, 
he saves the country he corrects Mr. Allah, the image. if anybody liberalized in india okay in Gen gentlemen growth, it is gentlemen we 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 are, we are taking our, we, we are taking up we, we are taking we are taking our break enough, number enough. 1 tonight the point here is whether or not there was transparency is proven the courts have said there was no transparency there was zero transparency in an arbitrary manner the question is who takes responsibility my question to all our viewers is just think before we come back to the subject in debate number 2 is whether the blame game has now broken out because the supreme court is going hard after this case what if the supreme court did not do that would this be happening i'll be back in a few minutes